All right, good morning. It's November 5th. Um, I'm back here in the same general area that Logan killed his buck yesterday and that I've hunted the last couple of days. Kind of bounced around a little bit. It's not all that cool. We got a little rain last night. Uh, I was really struggling to get up and get going this morning. I'm starting to wear a little thin, but I wouldn't be here this morning if it, we weren't going to get some rain tomorrow morning, so I'll probably get to sleep in a bit. Probably sleep in a bit on Tuesday morning, then make that final push Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Hopefully we can get it done, but... I moved this stand to a place to where I can kind of observe across this creek bottom because yesterday I checked the camera uh, on the edge of this gas line over here and uh, there was a bunch of activity on it and I haven't been seeing those deer and you can't get in and hunt them right there the access you just blow them out it's too close to bedding and in the morning they're out in that power line and gas line so hopefully I can see them going across this bottom, figure out where they're going, maybe move in. I don't have real high hopes, but I'm just glad to be out. Anytime you're out this time of year, you got a chance. The deer Logan killed was not the big nine-pointer I had on camera. It was one that was really similar. Not quite as big. Let's get us a few hours in. I brought a lunch in case I'm seeing good activity. I'm going to stay. If not, I may go back, take a nap, skip the evening hunt or something. We're just going to play it by ear, but we're prepared for anything. Well, good afternoon, guys. It's uh, November the 5th. It's about 2.30. I'm doing something that I didn't think I'd do on this trip. Um, day one, if you remember me, going in to check a camera in a place and I said there was probably more buck sign there than anywhere else but it seemed like everyone in Ohio knew about it I found three tree stands and it's not that big of a spot well I was needing to hunt uh, something new for a couple days to kind of give my spot that Logan killed his buck in and uh, the spot I killed my buck last year I need to give it a break for two or three days and needed something to hunt well I got to thinking and uh, this place, like I said, had a ton of buck sign, um, but there was a bunch of people hunting it. Well, all the tree stands are on the hardwood side of the road on that side of the ridge. But once you get to the top of the ridge and drop over the back side, it turns into thick, thick bedding cover. I was like, well, you know, I'm only going to get a few hunts, maybe at the most out of it. So I went straight back in here into the thick stuff and I'm going to pan around in a second and you'll see I'm about eight maybe ten foot up in this poplar tree and I'm tucked in as you can see behind me I got cover there cover there cover there I'm about as hit as well as you possibly could I, I used three sticks to get here but I stepped into the stand off the bottom step of the third stick so not very high but if I got any higher I'd lose my shots so I got as high as I possibly could and still maintain several shots when I say this is going to be up close and personal if we see them it's going to be up close and personal there's some uh, pretty good rubs there was I counted eight from the asphalt that I driving through here earlier because I drove through it after I got out of the woods this morning or about lunchtime and uh, there wasn't any trucks here so one guy did stop me as I was coming in the woods and said he shot one last night but couldn't find it so I figured you know I probably wouldn't see any deer and I don't have any expectations for this hunt but I did jump a doe um, at the very top of the ridge here so that's promising literally all the tree stands there's one probably about 80 yards from me up on the very top here but I've never seen anybody hunting it it must be a local that just hunts it early in the year or something 
this time change has me all messed up on time, but I think we've got about three hours. We'll sit here and enjoy the evening. If we get lucky, we might get to see some deer. There's a lot of deer in here. I may come back in the morning. Well, that's pretty much gonna end November 5th for me. I heard some deer walking around behind me, probably 50 yards away. I, I couldn't, it's so thick, I couldn't see anything. Most likely, I'll be back in here in the morning. Like I said earlier, I'm trying to give that other spot a break for a couple days while this weather's not just right. Our last three or four days here are supposed to be really good got just a couple more minutes of shooting light and I will pack it up. I'm, I've already started so until tomorrow maybe November 6th will be the day kind of getting that feeling that I'm not going to be able to kill one but I've just loved being able to chase them every day like this it's been a lot of fun I've never had this many consecutive days of hunting before it's, it's awesome I'll forever take two weeks it's all worth it that Logan was able to get him a buck. That was very well deserved. We're gonna try and get out of here and come up with a game plan for tomorrow. Uh, I'm leaning towards coming back here, giving it another sit. Probably, uh, I'm gonna tear the stand down. I'm gonna come in blind, try and find some hot sign. I have an idea where I wanna go. We'll see you in the morning.